What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the next adventure. I'm out here at a lake. I'm in uh, you know, close to southern Kansas, I believe. Somewhat near Fort Scott. This lake is called Bone Creek Lake. It was man-made flooded. You can see the dam over here. And uh, my mom's over there fishing. So I'm out here hanging out with them, fishing, and I have a crawdad trap in. They never seem to work for me, but we're gonna try. I've had it in for a couple hours now. Uh, typically crawdads don't really move a whole lot until about sundown. So we will see how that pans out. And we might have to just go in by hand and start plucking them out. Done that in the past. We'll try it again if we have to. Fish feeder right there. Whoa. I don't know if you can hear that. The bugs are buzzing. Wow, there's lots and lots of bugs. You can probably see those ones. You can just hear the buzz. They might be mosquitoes, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to light up my mosquito thing. I did bring it with me, thank goodness. That's a lot of bugs. Anyhow, the fish feeder station it always told me it never worked, but it just went off and there was all kinds of fish jumping all over the place. It was pretty cool. Right now, we're gonna walk up over this hill here because I think I might have spotted a geocache. Let's go see if we can find it. Turns out, I passed it. You may or may not be able to see that there. We'll go back in these woods here. Don't know if I'll trample through those. A couple reasons. You haven't seen copper here. The reason for that is I've been at this lake before a handful of times. My mom's been here, she lives near it. And this lake is full of snakes. They have rattlesnakes, water moccasins, and copperheads as far as I've been told. I've been here and I've seen all kinds of snakes swimming through the water. And I don't want to have to deal with copper and that many snakes. I don't know if we'll go trampling in through there because there are quite a few rattlesnakes. The other reason is the ticks. I didn't put on bug spray. And I probably already have ticks just walking through a little bit of grass over there. The ticks around here are ruthless. They have tiny, they're the size of a pinhead. I've been plucking them off copper. Fortunately, they've been dying on them because of his collar but i they're 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 so small they also have regular deer ticks or dog tick whatever they are wood ticks then the ones the lone star ticks the ones with the dots on them they're everywhere around here and i don't necessarily want to go in there and get full of ticks like i said i didn't i didn't cover myself in bug spray today so if we can't avoid going into these woods i think we will So it looks like there might be a path that people's been trying to go in. And looking on the map, it's still, it's in the middle of that thick. So I think we're gonna pass. I think it's an ammo can. If I had bug spray on me, you know, 100% DEET stuff that I carry around, I'd probably go for it. But being I don't, you guys been watching my other videos here lately you know that i've been dealing with ticks for the past month lots and lots of ticks and i'm getting tired of them and it's like rat poop on that log or on that now, do you see it all right well, we're gonna scratch that plan. Snakes, I'm not scared of snakes, but I know they're here, lots of them. And ticks, obviously I keep saying it. So we're gonna scratch that, we're gonna go back. See mom fishing way down there. We're gonna go back and we are going to see about 
catching some crawfish. I want to catch enough crawfish that we can have a good crawfish feed maybe tomorrow. What I'll do is if I catch enough tonight, even if I have to pick them up by hand, I necessarily don't want to. Like I said, I'll try to film some snakes later. You'll know what I'm talking about. But I'll try to pick them up by hand if I have to. Hopefully you don't have to, but we'll find out. Let's see what happens. Oh, here you go. That little bit I walked through. Now, I didn't even go in thick. There's a Lone Star Tick crawling up right there. Go ahead and pluck him off. There's just a regular, what do they call that, a wood tick or something. Here's another one. Pluck him off. I'm sure there's more. I'll definitely find some on me later, I'm sure of it. I'm kind of getting used to it at this point. But you know that I have been traveling in this area for quite a while. I've only had four latch onto me, so we're doing good. We're doing good, as long as we keep that up. I think I'm gonna go light the insect repellent now. I'm going to move it. There's a bunch of crawdads around it right now. One there, one there. Hmm, I wonder if I should spin that thing around. See how it's trying to rip that meat out of there? I think I should put it in the sock. Okay, I'm gonna put them in the sock and then move it over there. Well, there's a lot now here. Maybe I'm not gonna move it because these ones are big. But we are gonna get the sock. Okay, so here's the plan. Uh, my crawdad trap is sitting right down here. There has been some things circling. See, there's a crawdad right there. Looks like he has a chunk of something in his mouth. So there are, the bait's working. Um, I might have, that was just a chunk that was probably left over, it's not in a sock. And it's getting late now. So we're gonna leave this thing in overnight tonight. I'm gonna stash the rope and everything here so hopefully it doesn't get found. And then we'll swing back through first thing in the morning, come pick it up. See if we're lucky. Good morning, we're back here. See if we have anything in the crawdad trap. It's still here. That's good. Moment of truth. Here we go. Nothing. Not a thing in there. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this crawdad trap. These things never work. Well, go back to the old school method and just start plucking them out by hand. We're gonna go check out a waterfall. So I'm down here in Kansas visiting my mom right now. I've been making a couple TikTok videos and I was told I need to come here and check out this waterfall. I have not seen it yet, but I can sure hear it. Sounds pretty good. Whoa. Makes me feel like I'm up in the Northwest again. Wow. 100% worth it. Yeah. Check it out. Whoa, awesome. Way cool. This was definitely worth checking out. One of the coolest things I've seen in Kansas so far.
five here. Well, it turns out I didn't catch any crawdads, nothing at all. What a bummer. Those traps never work for me. That waterfall was pretty awesome though. Probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen in Kansas. Definitely made me feel that I need to head west really soon. So that's the game plan actually. Be head west in probably a week and a half. I hope. Well, that's gonna tie it up for this one and I appreciate you watching. And until next time, on to the next adventure.